Hello, welcome. This is Deep Rune, a game by J.C. Bailey, the author of Mythbearer. And from what I understand, this game is sort of a follow-up to Mythbearer. And I've been super looking forward to playing it. Click to start. Let's do that. Alright, can I... Okay, keyboard not doing anything. Gamepad not doing anything. This might be mouse-driven only. I don't know much about this. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Things are a little loud. I'm gonna turn down just slightly. I haven't heard any effects yet, so let's just leave music there and... Oh, controls, here we go. Oh, check it, okay. Uh, can I... Okay, movement, mouse to interact, mouse to force left, right, move up. Oh, there's no customization here, this is just a list, okay. Um, I don't know if this will make sense for gamepad, I'm just gonna set this thing aside and play with keyboard for now and see how it feels. Okay, so there's a lot of controls. WASD if I want, or arrow keys. Face, left, right, mouse wheel, or tab. All right. Uh, this might not be... Oh, I can't scroll slowly. I can only do... pages. Okay, there's a lot to read here. I'll not worry about it for now and just figure it out as, as we go. New! Oh boy, I... There are classes. Okay. Amnesiac. Inquirer. Your memories are hazy. Your motivation's unclear. All right, best score. Oh, uh-oh. Am I going to play through this game like eight times? Probably. <laughs> That's what it's looking like. If it keeps my score for each one. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, so that's my selected indicator. Tribesman. Marksman Bloodlust. You fight to protect your tribe and appease the spirits. Is this the same font as Mythbearer? I think it's actually a different one. Yeah, this is slightly higher resolution. Thief. Ex exploiter Agile. You take whatever you want regardless of consequences. Cleric. Oh, hang on. Wait, it tells me what these are in the tooltip. Gain random traits from slain bosses. Base bow attack plus four. Bloodlust instant kills restore HP. Neat. Daggers deal triple critical damage. Ooh. Take reduced fall damage. So there's fall damage, and it can be reduced by that. Cleric. Blessed. Max MP plus 10. Faithful. Spending MP restores HP. Ooh, cool. Uh, thief. Right. Okay, so cleric. Blessed. Faithful. You devote yourself to serving the will of God. Merchant. Affluent. Start with 100 gold. Haggler. Shop price is reduced by 25%. Okay. You see gold as an indication of one's worth. Oh, dear. <laughs> Explorer, Tinkerer, start with three repair tools. So there's repair. Collector, picking up items restores HP. You travel to uncharted lands in search of a higher purpose. Well, let's go with the uh, default one. Uh, amnesiac, that's my class. Start! Nestled within a forgotten world, deep below an ancient ruin lies a long-lost relic known as the Deep Rune. Old tales speak of the Deep Rune's great potential that it can grant one the means to ascend to the legendary High Realm. Countless brave souls have attempted to unveil the true nature of the Deep Rune, but none have ever succeeded. Okay. I will be the first. Or not! Maybe it's not that kind of story. Okay, I don't seem to have air control right now. If there's fall damage, that's not enough, not enough of a fall to hurt me. Okay, yeah, so we got tile-based side view. That's fascinating. Yeah, so I knew it was a side view game. Uh, this is going to be real interesting. Okay, yeah, so Mythbearer-like interface. Move around with keys, do stuff with the mouse. Yep, this looks super familiar. All right, so we got like four floors here or something. Menu? Okay, that's fine. I'll look at the credits at some point. Six inventory slots. Weapon slots here. Where'd my dagger go? Not in this bag, apparently. I picked up a dagger. Okay, level zero. Zero experience. Five HP, zero attack, zero defense. Looks very familiar. Cool. I happened to just have watched a Mythbearer LP that was not mine, so I am recently familiar with how that game works. I need to come back there and do a New Game Plus run at some point, but... This first. This is even more exciting. Okay, so repair tool. That's here. Arrows? Yep, I know what those do. Defense, attack, weapon, shield, ring. Okay, so there's ring juggling again, I'm sure. We got spells right now. Uh, well, maybe. No. <laughs> got a spell book. Don't have to get that from a demon. But, uh, no spells in it yet. 
No runes equipped. Okay, I need runes or spells. Amnesiac. Traits. Inquirer. And maybe I can gain other traits? Okay. Where'd that dagger that I picked up go? Shouldn't it be in here or equipped or something? I Oh, here we go. Ah, okay, so this opens a menu. Got it. Better than nothing. Attack plus two. There we go. Okay, so there's weapon and armor inventory, so it's not going to take uh, spots in my bag. That's nice. That'll be good for inventory management. Um, is there a... What's the save system like? Okay, we got quick save, auto save. There was a quick save button in the controls. I would like to know about that. Uh, auto run is on, right? Left control, auto run, something. Quick tabs, F keys. Okay, so now that I know a little bit more about what I'm doing. All right, quick save and quick load right next to each other. That could be dangerous. Uh, so let's do real saves at least sometimes. Quick items, quick bow swap, weapon menu, shield menu, ring menu, repair weapon, repair shield, runes, cat spellbook, traits, <laughs> in case you need to get to that quickly. And there's a reset button. Oh. And I can opt to die on purpose. All right. Uh, so for now, there's a quick save. I want to see if this hurts me. It does! I died! Good thing I saved. <laughs> Uh, I wish to reset the current room. Actually, zero out of ten deaths, huh? So I could reset. I can also reload. Ah, there's a confirm button. That's nice. No confirm for saving. Okay, so the danger is more that I will accidentally save when I mean to load than that it is well, I, that I'll accidentally load when I mean to save. Got it. Okay, so what's that about control for... All right, so tap control to toggle, run, or walk. All right. So, um, I wonder how proportional this is. So I took at least five damage from falling one, two, three, four, five, six tiles. I assume I can fall like one tile without dying. So it was probably like one damage for two, two damage for three, maybe. Okay, writing. If you tire of delusion, seek out the great rune that lies at the base of these ruins. Okay. And I don't have, like, a jump button or anything. Uh, right, so gotta fight the rat. I have the dagger equipped. Um, oh, it, it shows me a preview of what my health will be after one hit. Uh, rat level one. Plus one. HP seven out of seven. And that's the preview of the rat's health after I hit it once. I'm hitting for two, you're hitting for one, so this is gonna hurt me a lot, but I will win the battle, and I can't just, oh wait, yes I can. So I pressed forward twice, that happened. Ah, plus one, that's the experience I get next to the level. Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna save and test this. First of all, does this hurt me? No. Does this hurt me for one? No. Does this hurt me for any? No. Okay, so a three-tile fall is completely safe. So it doesn't scale the way I guessed. Um, I don't have a way to cross that gap even if I were up here, so... Maybe I'll get like a grappling hook or something someday. Familiar blue slime. Uh, can't hurt me. Has no attack. That's nice. Pow, pow, pow. Okay, and I climb up like that. Neat. This is so cool. Uh, I have an option of whether to fight this or not. If I want to time my level ups for specific healing, I can climb on vines, by the way. Uh, then that's an option. That would kill me if I touched it. Oh, switch there, you say. Okay, so climbable vines. I just want to look back here just to be sure I know what's uh, what I'm looking at. I wonder if I could gain any information by jumping off of here other than just that it would kill me. I can. Okay. So I died. So hitting the... Uh... Okay, room reset to where I... There was a cleric down there or something. Uh, a key. Some stuff. There is stuff in that pit. That's basically the information I got. I wish I could... I wish my quick load button worked while I was dead. <laughs> Nothing works while I'm dead, because I'm dead. Can't do anything. Um, what happens if I land on this slime. Okay. Well, I can kill it without even doing an attack. Great. 
Uh, wait a second, can I land on this slime? Depends on whether I can climb on that or not. And whether, like, going down one thingy is enough to hurt. I cannot. Okay, got it. Uh, now this thing... Okay, so again, resetting the room is an option. That's standable. Good. However, I'm stuck here now. Clunk. Uh, reset button also doesn't work, so I'm so a penalty for death is just having to wait that amount of time. Incentivizing me not to die. Fritjof. Alright. A uh, rat I could take, which would put me down to health maximum because I'd level up. Gear, one with nature. Alright, uh, let's take the rat. Level up. HP 7, great. I'm just, I was just assuming uh, level up would refill me, as it does in Mythbearer. Doorway! Okay, so I can doorway there. The spirits here are restless. Once my companions arrive, we will search for the source of their grief. Are both of these characters that I could be playing as right now? Maybe. Because, like, there's the cleric over here somewhere. Ooh, Hollow Soul, can't reach you to attack. An illegible grave. Nothing happens! <laughs> Wait, but this one is odd. So there's one odd grave here in the ancient ruins, slightly west of the bottom. Yeah, okay, that shows me I would die if I touched that. Too far away! Oh, this is lovely. Osmond, a true devotee. So I'm not going to learn my name until I play as someone else and find myself in this area, if I'm reading this right. I might not be. A great terror looms over this forsaken place, but I won't let that stop me from achieving my goal. Alright. I also appreciate the very noticeable... Ooh. Ooh. So, stock of five axes. It's a throwing weapon that depletes. So, like a bow and arrow, but without the bow. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> uh, but I can't go through those slimes. They're too strong for me. Uh, yeah, appreciating the noticeable tone shift from Mythbearer. This one is much more serious. So two doorways that I've passed up so far. These ruins are full of perils and death. You must seal your resolve and push onwards. I will. Not yet. Odd bit of wall. Okay, so third doorway I've opened. I'm opting to stay here for now. Money in here. I don't know how I interact with water. Wolf, you are way above my level. Seven. Okay. So free experience here that I could take. I'm going to opt not to. Okay, so two slimes I've left behind there. Doesn't look like I can interact with this. I presume if I go down this ladder, I go to the next floor here. Correct. Different map. Okay, so now that I know what that's about, let's throw down a save. Uh, locked door here. Second dagger. Can I dual wield or something? Oh, no, there's durability. Oh, my dagger uh, has taken 12 hits, I guess, and can only take 18 more. So I'm going to run out of weapon at some point. Aged Icor restores HP to max. Neat. All right. So we got a health potion. Rat, how much would you hurt me? Um, three hit minus one. So you're going to hurt me for two, right? If I time this right, I might be able to clear out this room, level up on those slimes, and be fine. But I don't have enough health for that. So I need to consider this carefully. Let's... Is there a not-quick save shortcut? Uh, uh. Quick save, quick load. No, everything is quick here. So if I want to slow save, I press escape, save, save one. Save. Okay. That'll work. So first of all, how far would I get if I just fought these rats? I lose one health, I lose one health, you're dead, and I get ten gold. Okay. Was I able to see that quantity before I picked it up? I'll check on the next gold I see. Oop, I'm on the vines. Can I do this? I can, okay. I didn't notice that that rat was stompable. Alright, neat. And I got a key. Now, I know I can't hang on those vines, so if I went down here, I would fall, kill the rat, and maybe die, because that's a long fall. However... Oh, okay, that's just the other side of the, uh... 
Like this was the secret entrance here, right? Okay, I can. I don't have to be right next to it. Too far away, too far away, not too far away. Repair tool, neat. So yeah, my dagger, not doing so great. Might need another one. There is another one up here. I have a key now. It goes in that slot, neat. Looks like inventory management is going to be a lot less cumbersome than it was in the predecessor. Yeah, those would be nice. Can't realistically get to them yet. So what's up with this? What's up with it is it's, it's something I can't reach. Maybe I can climb down that, but then I'd be stuck there and have to, I guess, fall here, go through those, and... I don't know. Uh, I did go in that other door. That gave me a repair tool. Odd grave. Nothing happens. I'm gonna learn to jump or something at some point, because, like, there's all these things just out of reach. Spirits here are restless. Mushroom. No, just a shroom. No mush. Uh, yeah, you're too tough for me. Moonwater. MP max. Okay, there is MP. That's... I would fall there. Um, I can climb a little bit, but it doesn't help me. Gonna test some fall damage again. That did not hurt. Uh, is there a place where I... I think there's a ladder with an open side just over here where I can fully test this. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this will be useful. Alright, so one is safe. Two, safe. Three, uh, three, safe. Four, three, four. Four kills me. Uh, sure. Uh, or deals at least three damage. Maybe I just always die of, from a fall of four. Maybe. It's hard to tell. Uh, I can't, like, click the map and look at what I've seen. Um, there were some blue slimes back somewhere in this room, actually, that I left behind. One experience each. Oh, hang on, I can climb there. Okay, I'm much more interested in this now. Uh, idea. Press the reset button. If I take off my dagger, then that saves some durability. Okay, there we go. So things that don't damage me, or that I just don't need the attack for, I might want to not wield a weapon. Just punch those slimes. Alright, yeah, I can't handle a wolf. Can come over here and pretend to pet it, though. <laughs> okay, and a wolf here that I also can't handle, and several more, kind of camouflaged against the stone wall. Doorway that I could reach if I just got there, with the abilities I have now, except for combat abilities. Okay. And right, gold says 10. All right, and I have 10, right? Yes. Haven't encountered a traitor yet. I did go through all the doors I had seen, right? Yes, I'm pretty sure. There might have been some I didn't see. It's possible. What was that? Draugr. Okay. Five experience, level 12, would just completely murder my face. Chest full of mystery. Uh, you I can stomp on, and I choose to. I should remember I'm not using my dagger right now. I can stomp you, right? Sure can, and it leveled me up. Neat. Potions do stack. Neat. Skeleton. Okay. Face murder zone down here. Don't go there. I have how many keys? One, I think. Yeah. Here, let's have that screen open. Uh, I haven't, like, learned any spells secretly, right? Nope. Alright, uh, Hollow Soul, Serpent, Door... Again, I do have one key. Let's see, climbing this doesn't help me. Can't really actually do much. Yeah, I see you there. I can go see the Draugr and not be able to do anything. Sunstone aids in navigation, you say? That sounds fun. I could interact with this hollow soul. What happens if I stomp on one? Oh, I stand on it! That's fun! <laughs> Alright then. 
<laughs> uh, I wonder if that just applies to all enemies, and I always had some space to stomp down. Ooh, I'd like you. Okay, remember, dagger is not equipped. Um, if I'm fighting rats, which I think I am, I will want to equip it. Uh, yes, definitely. Alright, dagger on. Pow, pow. Uh, my attack is four. Dagger is attack plus two. Yeah, okay, so I couldn't, like, dagger once and punch once to kill the rat. I do need to... Wait. Ooh! Critical strike, because the rat's not facing me! That's important! Right? That's what I'm seeing, right? In one attack, I would take it down. And so I'd hit for four from here. I get double damage because I'm behind you. Neat. Uh, this is nothing. Somehow I thought it was something. Okay, so if I... If I press right into you, it puts my cursor there ready for attack. If I press again, it would actually attack. So if my cursor's here... Pow. And yeah, if I take off my dagger now... Then, uh... Can't kill the rat with the next hit. I'm sure there will be situations where I decide to spend uh, health instead of durability. But this is probably not one of those yet. Okay, so got a longsword. 40 durability. I also have a repair tool, so repairing is an option if my stuff breaks. I have no idea how lenient this might be compared to Mythbearer, if at all. Perhaps now you possess the strength to conquer previously insurmountable challenges, like that purple slime up there, maybe. Uh, Draugr... No, not you. <laughs> oh, you have four defense. I can't even hurt you with a dagger, at least. A longsword, though. Uh, uh. I can't move while this window is open. Good to know. With a longsword, I could hurt you, but I would die immediately. Alright, so... Just walking around with my strongest weapon equipped seems like not a bad idea. So, time to go back. Oh, and, hang on, which way was... So I can sneak up behind you and critical strike you for 16. I would still die. But I can do it. Oh, and I can strike you in the back, too. That's what this path is actually for. Wait, so I hit for 8. If I'm here... Then I hit for 16, and I still die. If I were at full health, I could do that. Okay, and four more experience. All right, well, I could end up in that situation. Probably not this playthrough, though. Uh, all right. So yeah, these guys, they still... Oh, they have facings, huh? Okay, so... If you can tell, these slimes are facing left. So 8 hit, 16 crit. Got it. Wolves, how do you look? You'd still kill me right now. Let's keep going back. Uh, yeah, I can't reach you. Can't get up there to talk to you. What was in this room? I forgot. A shroom. I could kill. It would get me close to a level up, but not all the way there. Uh, however, doing that well, maybe I want to fall down that pit. Probably not. But I don't know, maybe? Alright, so you. You're my prime target here. I can definitely take you. That's almost certainly the way I want to go, but I want to make sure I don't have any other options first. But I'm pretty sure that's the way I'm going. I like a little shuffle walk I'm doing here. Alright, yeah, so... Unless I can, like, learn to climb stones. Maybe that's what it's gonna be. I'll be able to climb on just, like, any stone wall. Get some, like, climbing gloves or something. Alright, purpley. Let's do battle. Uh. Uh, there we go. Oh, hey, check it out. It's man traps. All right, you, um... You worry me a bit. I would survive this. I would not level up from it, and then I would just be kind of stuck, right? 
I wonder if I missed something major. Well, I have a potion that I'm probably just gonna have to drink, which is fine. Uh, if I take off the sword, then I hit you for not quite enough. Let's use the dagger. Okay. Yeah, so one short of a level up. I think there was a rat back there that I could maybe kill instead of drinking a potion. In one of these, yeah, there were three rats. Can I kill a rat with two health? With a longsword, almost certainly. Is it longsword? Longsword, yes. In this room, but maybe from the other side. No, from here. However, if I come down there, I get them all in the back, and let's try it. First of all, I'll level up right away. Alright, so I got a save put down here. I haven't done a hard save in a while. That's fine. So first of all, does this hurt me? Nope. And I leveled up. Alright, so if I take off all my weaponry, critical's not quite enough to take you down, so I do want to dagger you in the back. Alright, cool. And full health for man traps, greater strength. And I saw a shield in there, and I am extremely interested in getting in on that action. One more time, I keep forgetting. Shroom, moon water, pit that goes down. Let's, uh, let's learn what's down here. Ooh, was I... No, that was just a death effect. I was wondering if I was, like, poisoned by that or something. Ooh, okay, so Forsaken Crypt. Here. Got it. Okay, and it resets to the doorway. Great. This took me right where I wanted to be. Good. So yeah, lever would clearly open that. Well, probably. If I could get over to it. Alright, so you. One sword and one punch should do the trick, right? Sword. Um. So now I see why I might want quick... Let's see, bow swap, weapon menu, Y. Y, U, I. Quick repair weapon, repair shield, careful with those. So why to open that? All right. Why? There we go. Nice. All right. My health is down to five. That's probably fine. Can't reach you yet. I need to go across those vines. All right. So a bunch of shrooms in the way. Ooh, this is worrying. Probably gonna have to drink some of my potions. Uh, I would get hurt a lot from that. But, I mean, I have to do it. As far as I can tell, this is mandatory for progress. That wouldn't kill you. Wait. Oh, you kill me with, uh... With your poison. So that does, you do deal a final hit. Alright. So, we're drinking some potions. Uh, I want to... Sword for... So if I could kill you from a distance... Perhaps I could avoid the poison spew. Alright, potion. How do I potion? Uh, like that. Okay. How much does this hurt me? Oh, a lot. What? Okay, I'm gonna use, like, all my resources here. Let's hope that's okay. Do I want to repair this dagger? No, certainly not. If I have a repair kit that can repair stuff, I'd much rather use it on the sword. Okay, I can't even make it through here with all my potions, can I? I can reset the room when I want to. This would kill me, so it's one potion per shroom at this point. Okay, so I have problems. Uh, I opened that by accident. I wonder if there's something I could have done that I didn't understand I could have done. Defense plus four is a huge deal. So the very soonest I can get here, I would like to. Now, map implies I may have seen the other side of this once somehow. Where and how? 
Okay, so I was looking for something over here. What was I looking for? I had some idea. Uh, right, fight those purple slimes, get the throwing axe, and use it to, uh... Yeah, I can't do anything here. Uh, use that to take down the shrooms. Probably all five of them. How much damage do they do? So yeah, Buckler is there. That's a very high priority. I wonder if I was inefficient about something and like... Now I've landed in an unsolvable situation. Probably not. There's probably just stuff I don't realize that I can do. Uh, what did you say again? Great Terror something something. So let's look at this. Uh, is my sword equipped? No. Okay, there we go. So I can take these down in one hit now. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, and I leveled up too. Uh, therefore, I can do this better. Okay, gonna go back around. Wait, no. Um, okay, well, here's a good time to test. What I was thinking was I'd get one hit in on the man trap. Leave, come here, do this, level up, having spent that health. But don't things regenerate? They did in Mythbearer when I left the room. Let's, uh, let's learn about that here. So I, I did a save. I'm gonna hit you once, leave the room, come back. And yeah, you healed, got it. Okay, so that's not at all what I want to do. Alright, so just do this. Great, level up. And yeah, you know, it just felt like a slight waste because my health wasn't all spent before that level up, but it didn't look like there was a way to do it. Was this always in blue? Why do I feel like that text changed color? Probably in my imagination. Uh, right, so I got the... Th well, I got a level up, which is one important thing here, but also... Um, where are the... here we go. Axe. Damages enemies from afar. Five hit. So I'm guessing I'll want to do sword axe, sword axe, sword axe. That way I'll have enough axes. Might have to do sword axe, sword axe, axe, axe. Because I might not have enough health for this. And yeah, I'm only thinking as far as... Uh, oh, I have to fight you too. Hmm, I don't know about this. It's still kind of questionable. Uh, so... Sword would hit you that much. And hit me for four. I can take three hits of four. And I can critical you to death and just hope that, like, something good's over there. Well, I have potions. Okay, so that hits for five. Okay, so I still think I'm going with my plan. Sword, move back, axe. Uh, whoops! I faced the wrong way. Okay, so... Auto run disabled, auto run enabled. What was that about? Okay, so tab turns me around. Got it. Uh, smack, tab, axe. Oh, it penetrates! Okay, that's good to know. Um, I probably just want to use two more axes then. I'm gonna need my health for stuff, like that shroom fight up there, so let's just axe a twice more? I think so. And if I'm doing that, then it's much more efficient to just axe three times right away since it penetrates. Yeah, this is a pretty optimal situation for this. Poof, poof, poof! Ha, that's so great! I love it. All right, shield me up. So you, I still gotta fight the normal way. I could, can I ax from vines? Well, now I, okay, so I'll have to fall down there and let's find out. I can. Okay, um, let's do an actual save here just in case this ends up mattering. So save one, sure, that's fine. All right, sword equipped, swing, sword unequipped, punch. Oh, I leveled up. Great. Okay, so that save doesn't even matter. A very well-timed level up, and I get a buckler. Okay, ah, uh, but of course it has durability, so I'll have to decide when I want to use it. Okay, durability. That's going to change things a fair bit. I like how all the animations are taking that shield into account now. 
But if there isn't, like, body armor, then that won't, uh, won't be a thing. Okay, so now, um, I would take, like, no damage from that, but it would be spending my buckler. Alright, so with that, with a defensive item, I think I'm gonna call it a day. And I can probably go back down below and do stuff, but first I'll want to finish looking over here, certainly. Um, I can do this without taking any damage, I think. If I do these things, yes. I can at least do that now. It just costs one durability on the dagger. Oh, I think I know where I am. Okay, this loops back around. Good. Handy shortcut. And this is for money. That feels like something I want to come back to much later, because I have no use for money right now. And if I come back later enough, I can probably take you out without taking any damage myself. So, longsword on, round shield on, and we're ready to go adventuring back down below. And just in case I decide I really want that money right now, I'll save right here. <laughs> Alright, this is a great start. I love it. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what else this game has to offer. I'll see you next time.